Today we are going to show you how to use layers and how to use the custom color picker. So the first thing we're going to talk about is layers. And to get set up, let's add a couple layers. We'll do a photo, some text. And every time that you import something new into the work area, it's going to create its own layer. Uh, users of Photoshop are going to be familiar with this concept. So we'll put a picture in there. Let's actually make the picture a little bit smaller so you can kind of see the entire layer. Uh, on there on the screen. Let's add some text. Our text uh, for today will be made in the USA. So we'll add that to it. X that. And then we will also add a shape and we will add a star. So as you can see now, there are three individual elements here. We have the picture, okay? We have the star and we have the text. Now, did you notice that when I click the picture here, it went over these. So now you know, we can't see the star. When each of the layers are visible, you can click on them to activate it, just as you can see I'm doing now, toggling between the picture back to the text. If, however, you have one layer like this one that is so much bigger than the other ones that it overlaps it, you can go up here, um, up to the, uh, to the Images and Shapes tab, click Send to Back. It'll send it to the back, and now you can see all three. Right. So again, now that all three of them are visible, we can click on the star to move the star. We can click here on the image of the flag to grab the image of the flag, or we can click on the made in the USA. And that's layers. And that allows us to choose which one we want to work with, to move them around, to arrange them. You know, perhaps you have this star here, but you want this other half of the star to be covered up by the flag. Then you can send the star to back, make sure it's toggled, send the star to back. And now the image of the flag will go over it, okay? Now you can also, something else that you can do that I do want to mention with backgrounds is, you know, you have this picture here and we can obviously make this picture, um, you know, big, small, we can make it the background so that the text and so that the star goes on top of it. You can also uh, create a, a, an actual background, make it a background, that is a feature here. Um, and if you go to get backgrounds, you can add uh, the flag here, upload it, and it'll stay as the background and it's, it's in the back, so that's not going to obviously go over the other layers. As you can see, you can still click on your layers here, um, and it won't move. Now, you look at this and you say, well, the background doesn't fit in uh, all the way. It doesn't go all the way to extend all the way to the end of the print area. Well, you can actually increase the size of the background right here. And as you can see now, the background will extend all the way um, to the print area that way. And if you want to clear the background, just clear it out, and you can go back to what you had before. Now, the next thing that we want to talk about is colors. And we do have a color picker feature that I'm not sure a lot of people understand how to use, and so we want to show you how to use that. So let's say that we have, we have the star here, okay? And let's say that we want the color of the star to be the same color red that we see used here in this picture of the flag. Well, as you know from the first tutorial, to change the color of the star, obviously click on it, then go up here to fill, Okay, and now once you bring up your color picker, you're going to see this custom color picker button right here. And so once you click on this, you'll notice how the cursor changes to this exact same little color picker um, symbol. And you can now take that anywhere here into the work area. And if you click, and so we're going to click here right on the red, you notice how now this picker color has changed. And this hex value is actually the color of this red that was right over here. And so what we want to do is copy this, but first we need to click back on the color picker to toggle back over to the normal cursor. And then you can copy this and then go up here to add custom color, okay? Uh, paste the hex value right here, click OK, and now you have this custom color that you can add to your shape. So re-click on the shape, um, re-click on the shape here to make sure that you have it selected, go up to fill, add custom color. I'm sorry, just click the color, and now the star is that exact same color red that you had right in here, okay? And you can also do that for the text. So if you want to change the text color just as you would normally, go up here and click on the color, and you can, again, click on the color picker. Let's say that you want the text to be uh, this blue color, this light blue color up here that you see in the flag. Click on it, toggle off of the color picker, copy, go up here to add custom color, paste it, okay? And then just click on that. Actually, then you're going to have to make sure that you have your, uh, make sure that you have the text uh, chosen again. Click on the color, and now you can see that the text color is that very same blue. Okay. And then if you go back into the shape, 
that custom color is going to be saved there. Until you define another custom color, it'll be saved there for you. So you could go back and use it on another shape, another element. Um, same thing with the text. If you create text, um, that custom color will still be there for you to use later on as well.